Right, welcome back to another advanced stats football tutorial video. In this video I'm going to cover the defensive sheets. Uh, now this is a new edition, just released it last week um, after working on the two demo teams and sort of working out how defense would work in this game. Um, in previous videos we went over the offensive uh, sheet. Now the offense has got defense built into it, so when we read the a 1-68 uh, for the short middle is Tom Brady's completion percentage. That's his completion percentage against real defenses after everything is over, right? This isn't a, it's not a rating uh, where you say, oh, well, he's like 1 to 68 uh, on his passes to the middle. This is actually his percentage. Um, so in some ways, defense is built into, and if you played without defense, you would see that it's sort of built in so um, <clears throat> if if we play the defense it needs to be a little less like if you get it too heavy-handed then it's gonna sort of ruin the integrity of the game but you can see here that um, let's say here this one a 90 to a 94 on a pass uh, brings in the defensive sheet so if you rolled a 92 on a short pass over the middle then that goes to the defense and so then you would look at the defensive sheet for the opposing team here we have Kansas City um, <clears throat> and this is Kansas City 2021 now you can see there we have uh, three different linebackers two corners and a safety and each of these sort of uh, line up with the different pass plays so here's one linebacker 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 corner safety corner Okay, so if you think about them in terms of the uh, the way that the quarterback card is laid out, uh, that, I think that will help you. You can even see here that it says 15 yards, so you can see that these are the deep passes, these are the short passes, and <clears throat> we'll just cover passing plays first. So again, if, if you have that uh, short middle and then you rolled a 90, 91, 92, uh, you would go to the defensive card. And so because it's short middle, we're looking at this linebacker here because he's short middle, right? So you can see the line of scrimmage to 15 yards in the middle is Anthony Hitchens. And so we're going to look at his, because it's a pass play, we're going to look at his pass column. <clears throat> now he has a um, he has a 1 to 41 for a completion. Basically 71% of the plays, his targets are completions. So his completion percentage given up is about 71%. <clears throat> uh, 72 to 89 is going to be an incomplete pass. So you treat it just like an incomplete pass. 15 seconds off the clock, go to the next down, right? Uh, 90 to 95 is going to be uh, pass defended. So basically you swatted the ball down or knocked the ball down. Uh, that's the same as an incomplete. Plays over, 15 seconds, move to the next down. 96 to 98 is his blitz number so if you roll the blitz then you need to roll again and reference this blitz column over here so you sort of make a move here a 99 is a forced fumble you treat that like any fumble play you roll for possession you roll for an opportunity to um, if it's a double and the defense gets it and it's a double then you roll for a return and then a 100 is gonna be an interception uh, just outright he intercepts the ball um, <clears throat> and then you roll on the interception to see if there's a return so uh, for these plays up here it's either complete complete with yardage after the catch or it's an explosive play now you treat explosive plays just like you do on the offense you roll 2d 10s whatever the number is you add it um, you add it to the play and for these short passes you're going to start just at the line of scrimmage um, <clears throat> because there's no you haven't rolled for a completion number yet so remember over here we started wherever he caught the ball uh, we don't have that advantage on the defense so we just start from the line of scrimmage for the short passes we start at the line of scrimmage plus 15 yards if there's an inter um, if there's an interception I mean an explosive play uh, with some of these uh, defensive players, the defensive backs. The completion, um, 
If the pass is complete, you roll 1d10. You treat it just like a completed pass on the offensive sheet. Uh, you roll 1 uh, d10, and then whatever that number is, that's where he caught the ball and was tackled. Uh, if it's a completion plus yards after catch, you treat it just like a yards after catch play on the offense. So you roll for the completion yards. And then it doesn't matter what the player's yard after catch number is who catches it. So if it's here, the yards after catch for Gronkowski is like 1 to 41. Uh, so that doesn't come into play. It just automatically roll for the yak roll. And you, so you roll 1d10 for the completion yardage. You roll 1d10 for the yards after catch. And then that's going to total up to be your uh, full yards after catch or your... Uh, your passing play total yardage <clears throat> and then obviously you have the explosive play here uh, for the blitzes uh, one to three is going to be a sack for him a four to 25 is a quarterback hurry and then the resultion the result is an incomplete pass so you treat it like an incomplete pass a 26 to a 99 is going to be a completion and then you you just treat that like any completion you roll 1d10 and then you know whatever that number is uh, that's going to be your yards for completion. And then 100 is a forced fumble on the quarterback. Um, and we'll get to the running plays in just a moment. But essentially all these are different numbers, but they're all the same results uh, for the defensive players. <clears throat> and the same thing happens with the uh, defensive line, but the defensive linemen only come in uh, on running plays. They are not going to factor in on passing plays. So in the next video, we'll talk about run defense and how run defense works in advanced stats football.